with a special, special feature tonight. Please all stand and remove your hats for the singing of the national anthem by Avery Magnificent. Wow, good crowd. It's the best I've ever heard of a high school hockey game. <laughs> man, oh man. Whew, I got goose runs. All right, the starting lineups. In there, number one, from Escanada, Tristan Dillon. On defense, number eight, E.J. Atkinson. Number 23, Logan McKenna. Left wing, number 12, Will Shannon. Number 14 at center, Colin Dillon. And right wing, number 19, Brother Michael. Welcome everybody to the Valley Forum in Haverhill. We saw this team and we'll be taking on the Masculine Chieftains. Alongside Nick Raphael, I'm Sean Murray. Welcome. Nick, what do you say, buddy? Oh, hopefully this will be a good one tonight, Sean. Glad to be back with you. Excellent. Glad to be here. It's been a while, Nick. Oh, yeah. Sog is coming into this game 3-11 uh, and 11 in zero. Uh, Last game, um, they, they got a win though, Nick, right? Yes, they won 4-3 against Oakmont back at McMahon. We just heard a wonderful rendition of the Star Spangled Banner by one of the students uh, from Nascar McMahon. I got chills. It was oh, so good. That was so Unbelievable. good. Here comes Mike Capone, a left wing from Saugus, dumps it in on Dillon, the starting goalie for the Chieftains. Starting and goal for the uh, Saugus Peabody Tanners. It was uh, Ashton Souza. Out comes Ch the Cheatons. Intercepted by Dante Morrow, senior captain from Saugus. Dante, looking for some help, drops it. That looks like Capone couldn't get a handle on it, couldn't get a shot off. Good defensive play by Masco. Out comes Masco. Through the neutral zone. That's number 24, one of the seniors. The senior night here 
at uh, Mass School. Right, Nick? Uh, they, uh, how yes. many seniors did they have? Eleven seniors. Man, oh man, they had senior night, boy. It's it's come a long way. Yeah, between the flowers, the the the, the, the mother and fathers, the pitches, and all the banners, it's 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 become quite a thing. Oh yeah. You took part in that one, yeah, I at did. one time, right? I, I, I did. Rub- oh, where's oh, Ashton oh. Souza tested right away there? Yeah, tell me about that one, Nick. You you, you had your uh, right when CJ was playing, right? Yes, when CJ was playing, and uh, my senior year, I was part of it too. That's for sure. That's for sure. Excellent. We um, we're just getting underway here. Thirteen twenty-one. Yeah, into the first period. Uh, so I guess this team, Masco, they're playing is seven and seven. They can't find the puck. They're looking for it. There's plenty of pucks on the bench, ref. Come on, go they, grab they, another one. Let's go. <laughs> Lost it already. Unbelievable. Yeah, um, but it looks like uh, Sue's has got some issues with his equipment as well. Maybe. Um, uh, Maybe the puck Anthony went in there. Michelle, or our cameraman here, and our producer might be oh, may be wrong on this one. He might have the puck in his pocket, Anthony. But uh, it looks like Susie's got some equipment issues. Um, but we'll just go into the lineup here. That was uh, we had our first line starting out. Mike Ryan, the Peabody senior, uh, he's just centering uh, Mike Capone and Dante Morrow. They're the forwards. And uh, they had the, on defense was number 27. Tristan First. Joyce got the got the start with uh, number nine Andrew Pinto. Both Peabody kids. Up, oh, they found a puck. They found one. Here we go. Just getting on the way. Uh, Sean Murray, Nick Raffio, Anthony Michelle are on the camera. It's good to be here tonight, Nick. It's been a while since I've been in the hockey rink. Oh yeah. You know we don't have been doing as many games. Uh, you know, and and I miss it. It's it's. Uh, Masco right off the face-off, Western one, that went wide. The defenseman pinches in, puts it behind the net. Back comes the Tanners. Defenseman taking it up. That's number 17, Michael Ryan, playing D. That was a good carry up by Mike Ryan. Yeah, they got the first line back out there. Jones is getting the play. Getting a uh, Ryan Jones, the junior, getting a, um, a chance on that line with Mike Ryan and Dante Morrow. It looks like Pacheco might not be playing. Um, the big defenseman for, for oh, oh, here's wow. a goal right off the bat, number five. Oh man, that was a screen. That went right through. Max Conley from the point. Susan never even got a look at it. <laughs> Up one nothing already here. Yeah, there was no, there was nothing going on. People standing around. Yeah, at the fence. Oh, oh, big hit! Oh, big hit on Max Powery and Ben Merrill. Yep, yeah, one nothing here. Capone has it on the boards. Can't find it in the skates. Masco takes over. Good, good D. Number seven. That's uh, that's uh, Lock or that's Lock, uh, no, that's J- Zach Hartnett. Hartnett. Zach, Hartnett. Zach Hartnett. Hartnett. Peabody kid. Dante, looking for his help. Some help. That's number three. Tyson Higgins. Nice. Higgins. Masco trying to come out. Soggy's intercepts on the boards. He chips it in. Dante looking for someone to give it to. Kept in on the point by number 22. Ryan Locker. That's Ryan. Oh, big hit. Dante oh. Morrow. Nice body check on 16. I'm feeling this is going to be a physical game tonight. Well, it, it should. Be. You're going to need it. Oh, wow. I don't know if he got a handle on that or soon he made the save. But that was a big bid right in front. Dante Morrow with it. Poke check there by Mike Ryan. Uh, this kid's pretty good, number 10, for uh, Masco. He's he, one of the seniors. That's Joe Young. There's a shot from the point. Back, on, back to it. Jonesy trying to forecheck on it, getting, to, getting out to the point. 
Ryan Jones can't get a handle on the boards. Being helped out. Chipped out of the zone. Back for it, number six, Evan O'Hare. He finds his partner. He'll circle back behind the net. Pass goes back up to his partner. Back right on the sideboards. Masco can't get out. So I guess Peabody giving a little bit of a forecheck there. Ryan Jones pokes it by. Can't get a handle in the middle. Back comes Masco. That shot goes wide. Oh, chipped right in front. Oh, that puck was bouncing. It looked like he couldn't get a handle on that, that one. Masco goes back to their point. Oh, try to give a nice quick pass. Sargis overskates it. Jonesy gets it. Can't get a handle to it. They, Masco comes out. Nice pass through the middle. Masco dumps it in deep. Back for it. Oh, yeah, you almost found him. Morrow gets it. Trying to come out. Masco keeps it in. They put it in deep. Nice play by the defenseman. Peabody wraps it around. Down low for Masco. Oh, nice give and go pass. Susan makes a right pad save. Back to the defenseman, pitches in. Number three, Giuliano. The team is looking to come out of the zone. They just get it out. That goes deep in Masco with a four check here. Tanners haven't been able to get a handle on it at all. They get it out of the zone, but Masco off the boards and they'll dump it in deep. That goes high up into the net and we'll get a whistle. Nine, nine minutes left here in the first period. I, I don't have, I'm way rusty here, Nick. You're gonna help me here, right, Oh, buddy? I'm gonna help you today. Looking rusty. I don't have the numbers, the names. I'm really, I'm trying. I will, we'll give it a go. Maybe by the second period, I'll be back. I'll be back, you know? <laughs> we got fondue. Right, we got fondue. This is out there, number 21. They're for Sargis. From Sargis, Jonesy center and Mike Ryan on the left wing. The Peabody senior captain. Sargis, a little four check going down low. Oh, Fondulis, Alex Fondulis. Ryan Jones puts it in on the four check, but that goes all the way down. That's going to be an icing call. Oh! It looks like they, it looks like the double shit that Mike Ryan right now. The, the, uh, senior, the senior captain from Peabody. Yeah, that's what he looks like. He's playing D in off offense. So uh, it looks like uh, the big defenseman I mentioned earlier um, with Trevor Pacheco, uh, Pacheco. Pacheco. Yeah, he's uh, he's been injured. And I know he warmed up, Nick, but uh, he, he has not been out there yet. So nope. that's a big loss for the uh, Tanners with Pacheco out. Sargis in the corner down low. Ryan with a little four check. Bondulis can't get at it. But Ooh. back comes Masco, three on one. Nice pass in their wing. He's got a shot. Oh, oh my. Wow, that was five. Whistle next, Conley for Masco. He stepped up with that, a three on one. And said Susan didn't come out and take the angle away. And um, he just put it. Max Conley put that one away on the far side. Souza not, not happy with himself right now. The team is down 2-0 early here in the first period. Masco has seen the night all over the team so far. Masked on the goal, Max Stanley, assisted by Gavin Dupree. Big crowd here on senior night for the, for the um, Chieftains. They got the old Saugus colors on. It looks, you know, the red and white. Here goes Dante. Dante Morrow can't get a handle to it. They got number three for uh, for, for Peabody. The Tanners are playing the right wing on on this line with them. Tra Tyson Higgins. Oh, two shots right on, right out in front. Oh, that one went by. That was the center from um, Nasco Ford. He Brady Ford just missed. They jump it in deep. That's Higgins, puts it in deep for Tanners. Pinto throws it back into the zone. Masco winds up. Nice football oh, pass all the way onto the boards, the far side. Nice short pass. They go wide. He's looking for help. Peabody trying to come out. 
The team is get out. They can't get out of the zone. That's kept in by number six. That's O'Hare. O'Hare again with it. He'll shoot it right on net. That's blocked. Nice block in front by Higgins. Yasko, no one. Nobody coming to him at all. Just walking around the net unscathed. Somebody's got to go after him. Yasko uh. keeping it in. Everyone's backing up. No, yeah, it's, it shows them in a big oh. save there. That was on the other kick. Brady Ford again. They got to watch Ford. They can't let him walk in right in on Souza. Un unscathed. No one touching him. They got the defense. They're backing it on the goaltender. Oh, what a play. Oh, what a save. Oh, what a I'm save. Souza. Two saves by Souza. And they saw it. Another one by Souza. Oh, that oh, one goes on. Another one. Five saves right away. Ashton Souza. He might be a little mad at himself for letting a couple goals in, but right there he sees the fuel. Unbelievable. Nice setup there by the uh, the Cheetons. Excellent uh, pass right down. Uh, Wiseman broke in the net. I forget who gave him that pass, but it was an excellent play by the Cheetons. Boy, Ashton uh, had to come up big there. <laughs> Got the whistle as well. He needed the whistle. He had four. For at least four or five shots on him. Masco wins the face up. They keep it in. They'll throw it in deep into the corner. Ryan Jones with it. Jones, he's trying to throw it out. Intercepted. Blocked in front by the Tannis defenseman. Masco all over him right now. Saga standing around watching him play hockey. They go, there's a shot. Oh, oh they no. see. Oh, oh my. No. Oh my. oh my! I don't know how he. Oh my! What a save! I heard a whistle. What's that? What's going on here? Someone's got a whistle in the stands, or that the ref got a whistle in his pocket. I don't know what's going on. I heard a whistle. I, I, unbelievable! Now we got one. Uh, I must be hearing things. I think the ref blew the whistle, then just, then just said, ah, oh, forget about it. Yeah, I blew it, but uh, we'll just keep playing. Uh, oh, Sousa just made two unbelievable saves right there. Another two, not a man, add two oh, more. Man. Wow, <laughs> the ref blew the whistle. I know he did. Oh, that one just went wide. Oh, right out in front. Dante Moro, there he goes, on the go. Ah, he can't get it to a Capone. Capone and Morrow trying to break out. Kind of almost ran into each other. They'll wrap it around. Morrow with it on the boards. Good body check by the Cheetah there. Kept in by number three. This kid's pretty good. Number three, Cam Giuliano for, for Masco. Oh, right up front. That went right through the crease. Song is standing around. Song is peeving. He's standing around. Doing nothing, Mike Capone, here goes Dante Morrow with it. Dante stops, looking for some help. Good back check by Masco, took it right away from him. Back comes number 12. That's it, Will Shannon. Will Shannon it took it to the wide. That one goes right out front, and it goes out of the zone. Big break for the Tanners. Here comes Giuliano, down low. Looking for some help in the middle, can't find his man. Still gets control of it. Throws it out in front. That's what Zach Hartman for Peabody got it out to the point, but he can't get it out of the zone. No, oh, nice pass back to Giuliano. Giuliano's shot's blocked. That's that's right out in front. Brady Ford couldn't get it. That Sog is, like I say, standing around watching Masco skate around. Nice pass. Oh, they had him on his off wing. Looked like they were almost like he had a, a power play. Tian is trying to whack it out of the zone. They can't do it. Kept in. Nice pass. Oh, that shot saved by Souza. Oh, he found him. That oh. was it. Oh, nice pass. That was a heck of a play by the Chieftains there. That's uh, Brady Ford set up. Uh, it looked like he got, um, then it was number 10. It looked like Joe Young got it. Great pass by um, Ford. 
he found this man just sitting there all alone, no one covering him. Shows you had no Knocked chance in that one. Joe Young, assisted by Brady Ford. Excellent, excellent play. That's that should be icing. Oh, yep, he called it. We should at this at this juncture of the game, they should wave that one off. 328 left here in the first period. So I guess down three nothing. It's going to be a long night. Oh yeah, it's going to be a, gonna be a long night on scene tonight from Masco. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, yeah, back to the point. That's a nice shot right on. Sousa can't get control of the rebounds. Oh, nice move, number seven. That was Rogers, Matty Rogers. Made a nice move on the, uh, the Tanner forward going out to the point to cover him. He shifted by him and got a shot right on. Nice pass. Right, to, oh, Nasco. Nice play coming through the zone. That one went right on. Sousa made a save. Oh, no goal. What that off. can't be a goal. He's got to wave that one off. That's a high sticking. No way. Yeah, you got to be kidding me. This ref's a clown already. He blew the whistle once. Now he's calling a high stick and goal. Unbelievable. Give him a break, buddy. You gotta be kidding me. I never you gotta be kidding me. Masked on the goal, number 21, Johnny Moralt. He's he played by number 22, Ben Merrill. Does he play lacrosse? That was a good one. That's a lacrosse goal. Oh, down 4 nothing. They give him some help. I mean, they're already getting smoked right here in the first period. And, and you know, they're giving him help by giving him a goal on a high sticking. I mean, it was so obvious. Everyone in the ring seen it. Everybody's seen it. There goes it. Hey, there's uh, another one. That was a nice goal. That was chipped in front by somebody. But that was a great goal right there. Nice shot from the point. That one went right on. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, this is gonna be tough. A long one. Yeah, it's gonna be a long night. Poor, uh, poor Susan, like, you know. Last I mean, Number nine, Anthony Saboni, assisted by number 16, Gavin Dupuis. Yeah, so they gave it to, to um, Saboni. Yeah, they gave it to the defenseman, and, and I'm not sure if someone chipped it in front or not, but. I thought someone chipped it in front, but they gave it to, to the defenseman who shot him on the point. Nice save. That's how he, Sousa come out, took down the angle, made the nice save. That rebound, that's still, guys saw this, not even playing the body. They're just standing around whacking at it. I mean, this, this team's going to be, if you're going to do anything, hit somebody. Look at this. Back, nice pass back to the point. Nasco's playing good hockey right now. Oh, nice tip in front. Oh, heck of a play. Oh, oh boy. Wow. He, that's, that was, um, that was. I think it was oh, Pinto. Uh, Michael Ryan. Mike Ryan. Mike Ryan. That one. Playing D on this line. He chipped it away. Otherwise, it was going to be another goal. He was wide open right in front. Nice, nice play by the senior captain, Mike Ryan. And the stoppage of play is because Susan made a stop. Yeah. The stop play. Yeah. Man, oh, man. Sargis is Peabody, Sargis Peabody running around, you know, not, not coming in, not taking the body, not blocking shots. Here's a block shot, dog, you nice one there. He, he, he goes, oh, I'll show you, I'll block a shot. Yeah, this, this kid, I like this kid, number 10. He's gonna go to play a young, Joe Young, senior, another senior. Um, Oh, 11 seniors on this uh, NASCO Chiefs and team. Young's looking for some, oh, nice drop pass. Get it to Ford. Ford picks it up, went to go back to his point, but that goes out of the zone all the way into the Chieftain's end. We got a minute left here in the first period. Here comes the Peabody defenseman. Capone can't get to him. That's number eight for um, Masco. Nice play coming out of the zone, though. That's E.J. Elkinson. He, uh, he took it down and beat his man, came into the zone, but at least Sorgas got it out. We're going to get a face-off all the way down uh, to the left of um, Tristan Dillon. Tristan Dillon hasn't seen a shot yet. 
And he's just another senior um, on senior night here. I, I swear the kid's like six five on skates. I walk by the kid. He's, five he's a big 11. boy. He's five. He's five eleven on foot. Yeah, I, 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 on, the, on, the, on the sheet it says he's five eleven, but on skates I'm telling you the kid's six five. You mean on skates? That's what I'm saying on skates. Yeah. Nice play back to the point. Shifting Giuliano takes it down low. Looking for his man in the middle. That chipped uh, one. There's another one. one. There's another one. Holy smokes. You know, this is what happens in hockey, right? You, you, you start standing around and you start watching the other team play. You know what I mean? Instead of covering your man, you start watching the game and you're not playing your game. It's, the team is, they need this. They need this period to end so bad right now. They can't wait to get into the locker room. It's ugly right now, five nothing. I think it might be more than that. They've only just couldn't five up. Could be six, but uh, but they got one on, on, on a high stick in anyways. But you know, we won't mention that anymore because it doesn't even matter at this point. 22 seconds left here in the period. Drop the puck. Man, oh man. Let these kids get in the locker room. Alan Whiteman from three, Cam Giuliano. Giuliano has it. Goes over to his partner. Nice pass to his far wing. Back comes number 22. Here's a shot on Souza. He puts it down wide. Merrill got that shot from the left side. Oh, there's a body check. Hey, we see the body check before the period ends. There's one. That's it. That was a disaster. A damn disaster. Yeah. Man, oh man. We, uh, look, it's gonna be a long night, so I hope you got your Long Johns on. Oh, Long John Silvers. <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh, at the end of uh, well, first one period, the Chieftains five, oh, no, they're six. Excuse me. And the uh, ten is a zero. We'll be back. Let's go, Ashton. Come on, skate out there. Don't you? Come on. That's, that's just a sign of a goalie that's already bumming out. You gotta, you gotta skate hard to the, to the net. Come on, show some life here. We're ready. We're back. We're back for second period action here at the Valley Forum in Havel, where the Chieftains and the, and the Tanners are going at it. The, t the Tanners are down 6 nothing to the Chieftains from Masco. You now, Maskonomic is 7-7, seven and, seven, and they, they played a great first period, Nick. Yeah. Um, Nick Carafio, Sean Murray here with you. Uh, but, but it looks like the Tanners had no life in them at all in the first period. And the Chieftains on senior night, with 11 seniors graduating, um, just put it to the Tanners right away, right from the start. And um, I'd say the, the, the shots on net were probably about 25 to zero. Up in, here they come yeah, again. In favor of, of the Chieftains. There's a lot of water on the, on the ice right now where the puck might stop a little on them, but Sog is trying to come out, kept in by Masco. Back comes to Tan is, oh, Dante trying to do something. Nobody, nobody helping him out. There's a body check by Dante Morrow. Dumped in by number seven. That's Matty Rogers. Rogers trying to throw it in. Fanned on it. Finally gets to it. All the way into the zone. Souza leaves it for his defenseman. Leaves that Pinto down low for, uh, for, for Peabody. Oh, that one tipped. Oh, that one just went wide. That was tipped by one of the Tanners, and it just missed the post. Oh, he was looking for his man on the, on the backside. Kept in by number five, Max Conley. Conley brings it down low. Ah, he tried to find Elkinton. Elkinton gets to it. Back over to Conley. Conley throws it in all the way behind. Susan's, they get, you, come on. You can't, you, a goalie can't lean on the post 
when a puck goes behind the net, I mean, he looks like he's not, he's, he's, he's already deflated. It, I'd put the second goalie in. If he's gonna look like that, you gotta take him out. He's, I know he's getting hammered, but I mean, come on. Nobody, nobody throwing their body. That's just, you know, right on. Susan makes the save, ties it up. He's, he's looking. Now you see how he's deep into his net like that, Nick. Yep. He's not. He's not. He's he, he's deflated. I mean, the kid's probably already like you know feeling bummed out because you know it's he's down six nothing in the first period. But it's going to be a long night if he don't snap out of it. He's going to get back into this game because they're going to be they're all over him already. They've already had four shots. Two of them were just went wide. They're winning faceoffs. They're passing the puck. Nice play down low. I think this is their third line. That one went up in the air. No, we got a hand pass and it's gonna be out of the zone. We're gonna go all the way down. It's gonna to be to the left of uh, Tristan Dillon. Tristan, his feet are probably cold right now. You know what I mean? He hasn't yes. seen a shot. Another senior for uh, the Masco. 12-29 here in the second period. Nick Graffio, Sean Murray here with you. Anthony Michelle are on the camera, and that's an icing. This is the only time it's been down in the zone when there's been icings. So they, they need some, uh, they gotta get something going here. They need some shots. They gotta need a big body check. Something's gonna click here to get them back into this game. Click, click, boom. Here we go, Jonesy on the face off. Ryan Jones, the junior son of, uh, from Saugus. Ah, he wins it, nice draw. Back to the point. Nice, there's a save. Oh. Dylan finally gets a short one. Block a save, and he moves it right up to his man on the on the wing. He's not called his eyes anymore. Here we go. Behind the net, the chan is fighting for it. That's um, Hartnett, but Zach Hartnett from Peabody gets to it. They throw it up, but it's kept in by Nasco. Here's, oh, he tried to find his man on the back door, just missed. Number six, nice little move. That's Evan O'Hare. I like that little shifty, shifty Rudy there uh, by O'Hare. Kept in on, oh, nice pass in front. Oh, oh. Matty Rogers from Vasco just missed that one. Nice pass though, down low. Here's a nice, and they need it. We'll get a whistle. Sousa's right. Yeah, they're all over them. This is a, this is a pretty good team right now. Masco, they look good. They're um, you know they're, they're finding their points. They're, they're they're looking for guys, you know, moving around, backdoor passes, they're coming out of the zone fresh, uncontested pretty much the whole game so far. Nice draw. With that face off one, that was Ben Merrill. He won the face off. Oh, that comes all the way out. Oh, oh. she intercepted by Dante. I mean, um, Michael Capone, a senior from Sarvi. Dante Moro. Oh. Oh. Dante Moro with a backhander. I I might have been Capone that got that. No, that was Dante. Oh, no, you're right, it's Capone. Capone, Capone picked, picked it up and scored. Nice goal. I, I got it mixed up. Dante made the made the play by intercepting it in the middle. He got the assist. Capone picked it up and then put it away. Nice backhand to beat Dylan. That's a that's a way to get back into it right there. Number eight, Michael Capone. From number three, Tyson Higgins. Yeah, I thought I thought um, Dante Morrow got an assist, but they gave it to Tyson Higgins. Higgins. Yeah, the, we played right wing on this line. Nice play though. They did finally got something going here. Back on it. That's um, uh, Tristan oh. Joyce. He gets he gets taken down. We're gonna get a penalty. The first penalty of the game. We're gonna get a cross check. Cross check. Yeah, that's a number 11, Alan Wiseman. 
So we get the Tanners going on the power play here. Just after scoring their first goal, 10-90 left here in the second period. Here's the power play. Mike. We got Mike Ryan centering. Mike Capone and Ryan Jones on the right wing. We got Dante Morrow. And they got um they also got Zach Hartman on the on the defense. So we'll see if uh, the Shannons work work their power play. Maybe get another goal. If they get another goal, Nick, they get back, right back in this. Yes, they do. Hopefully a power play call will happen. Ah, Mike Ryan couldn't win the faceoff. Nice back check though. Dante Moore tried to keep it in. Couldn't. All the way back for it is Hartnett. Hartnett is being four checked by number 12. That's Will Shannon. Just gave him a bump. Ah, uh, they can't come out. No connection there. Oh! oh. Being checked by Dante Morrow. And uh, he took the worst of that one. It looked like that number 12, Shannon. Those two collided. Shannon didn't go down, though. Ryan Jones. Oh, they trying to find Ryan on the far wing. Couldn't get to it. Oh, nice pass. Oh, he uh. couldn't find Capone. Loses control. Oh, there we go. Oh, my. Unbelievable. Yeah, that one did. Capone lost control of that one. Shannon made no mistake about that. He walked right in on Souza. Number 12, Will Shannon, unassisted. Yeah, that was that 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 one hurts. That's a short-handed goal by Masco. Unbelievable. Just when you thought, just when you thought the Tanners might show some life. They score a short-handed goal on him. Unbelievable. Susan, you know, came out, tried to take the angle away from him. But uh, Shannon made a nice goal. Nice goal, though. Picked the corner clean. Oh! Oh, good body check, too. Oh, uh, he's going out for that one. That ref's call, he's got his hand up. Yeah, he's oh, got he's his hand up. He's calling him, he's calling him. I don't know about that. I'm not sure that's a cross check. Ben Merrill's going in the box for a cross check. So now the team is going to power play again. A five it's on three. Penalty, number 22, Ben Merrill. Two minutes, cross checking. That penalty just ended. The first penalty that just went on just ended. So now we got a five on three. They're still here. The, the, the clock's the clock's saying that there's that there's only, now we got the clock. The clock's better now. I knew it was a five on three. They need the spare there, but they got Pacheco out here on the right side. Oh, Frank yeah, he's, he's out there. They got the big guy out. Yeah, he must be. He looks like he's laboring a little bit, you know? Oh, no, no, that's no, Polaris. No, that's Nathan Polaris. I'm sorry. Our correction. Yeah, he's another big boy. They got him on the power play. Josie gets picked off. Back for it. That's um, Andrew Pinto's got it. Pinto looking for... Um, Polaris can't get it to him. Nasco just throws it down. They're down, they're down. We got a five on three here. Oh, that's not the pass you want to make on a five on three. You don't go cross ice on a, on a five on three. You give it to your open man, and you come out and you control the puck. You're taking it to the zone. Come on. All right, we're back to a five on four. A regular power play. Yeah, he, these, these home run passes aren't going to work. It's still oh, no, 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 no. go! Capone bangs his second one of the night. Nice pass. Beautiful what a setup. I think Ryan gave him that puck. I'm not sure. Maybe it was. I'm not sure. Maybe it was Fondoulis. That was a beautiful pass and a beautiful spot I know. Spot I'm not sure who it. gave him the pass, but that was a heck of a play. Nice goal by Capone on his off wing. He whistled that one right by Dylan. Man, they're still on the power play as well. No, not they're up now. They're all done. From number 17, Michael Ryan. Yeah, and that number was, nine, Andrew Pinto. Yeah, that was a good play. Pinto wh whistled it. It went all the way down, and it touched somebody, so they got no icing. But Ryan got to it first, and then found Capone break it to the net. That was a great pass by Ryan. 
Dylan didn't have much of a chance on that one either. I'll tell you, one thing about Capone, boy, you get him six feet in front of the net, he buries it. He does. He puts it away. I'll give him that. He's got to throw his body around, though. He's a captain. He's one of the captains. He's a big boy, a senior. You know what I mean? They, got to, they win this game, but they get another goal. I think he's one of the leaders. I don't it, think he's... No doubt. He's, uh, you're right. He ain't a captain. He's, he's not a captain. He's one of the leaders, though. Oh, they say Oh, Sousa. what did they say Right past save. Out comes Santana's. It's in the middle. Dante Moro has it. He throws it in deep. Behind the net, Dylan leaves it. Oh, he's got... Moro oh. got to his own dumping. Oh. oh, nice play. They got a shot right on Dylan. They're testing him now, Nick. It looks like the Tanners are showing some life here. Offside. Offside. I don't know about that one either. Come on, ref. Put the whistle in your pocket. Let them play. Let's go. All right. Now we're working here. Things are getting going here for the Tanners, Nick. The tempo's kicking up a it little bit. It is the tempo. I love that. The tempo's moving. Hey, I want to give a shout out to my, to my man, Binner. Oh, Keith, Keith Manning, you know, he's doing a heck of a job for the Saugus basketball. Uh, you know, I know you, you do a lot of work with them, right, Nick? Yes, I do the color and uh, the camera work, he's, at, both at the same time. Yeah, yeah, he, he, I know, ben, I, I, I talk to him, I, I, I'm fr good friends with him, and I've seen him, and he loves doing it. He loves doing the games, just like I do. You know, we come out here and, um, you know, like to see some, uh, you know, uh, although, they don't have a combination team in, uh, in the basketball. Like, oh, whoa, whoa, that one just went over the net. Maybe Susan might have got a piece of that one. They're down the attack right now, Masco. Nice shift back to the point. Over, nice play over to his partner. There's a shot. That one was blocked in front. Oh, that one was worse than wide. He, Max Conley, he had a couple of shots from the point already. The defense is going to work in it nicely, back and forth to each other. Out comes the Tanners, three on two. Here he goes. That play is oh, two on one. There's a shot. That one, nice save by Dylan. Pushed to the side into the corner. The Tanners on the attack here. That's Tyson Higgins. Nice pass. Higgins, Higgins got himself a nice shot there. Tyson from PBD. Oh, all the way in. Oh, what a oh, shot. Oh, wow. Wow. Nice one. Nice uh, single single effort by Sheer, uh, Brady Ford right there. He intercepted the pass, pushed it by the defenseman, walked in and made a beautiful shift on Souza and buried it. This kid's going to have about six by the end of the night. They got to put him on the bench. Oh my. They're gonna have to put him on the bench on senior night. So no one can, can kill him. Number 24, Brady Ford, assisted by number 10, Joe Young, and number 23, Logan McKenna. Yeah, it was a, that was a nice goal by the. I didn't think, I thought it was unassisted, but they gave him a couple of points, so give him that. There's a nice drop pass. That shot right on. Souza makes the save. Johnny Meralt. Nice shot from Meralt. Susan is off wing too, whistled it. Susan needed to make that stop. Oh, he needed it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's got to be frustrated, you know? I mean, I'd say 80% of the goals, he's had no chance on it. But, you know, it, he's, uh, he's made some saves too, you know what I mean? I mean, it's already 8-2, eight, eight but it might even be more than that. But if the score on the, on the board says 7-2, uh, but, but man, he's seen a lot of rubber so far. That one's right on. Oh, he's saved it. See what I mean? Now, this is where you, you got to move guys out in front of the net. I mean, they're, they're, they're leaving rebounds. Guys are standing around watching Souza reaching for the puck to, to tie it up. Somebody's got to move somebody out in front of the net. Can you stick up in front of somebody? You know what I mean? Let them know you're there. Face off, one by Masco. They keep it in the zone. A little hack and whack in the corner, and Dante Morrow comes out with it, trying to find Capone on the wing. Masco circles back into the zone. Step shot. That one went, went wide. That was Colin Dillon, one of the uh, one of the, the the brothers on the seniors senior night. His brother's a goalie. 
I think they might, maybe they might, they gotta be twins, right? They they're gotta, both they gotta be. They gotta be twins. I, they gotta be twins. Yeah. I noticed that in the beginning. Ah, there's another save by Souza. Push to the side. Saugus can't, uh, the Tanners can't get anything. There's a, they, they come out, hotting it, whistled it away, out of the zone. Intercepted by Ryan. Ryan will dump it in, they tag up. Here's your first line for the Tanners. Morrow, first man in, plays That's the body. body. There it is, a uh, nice play by Dante. Picked it up, looking for some help, needs some help in the corner. Ryan goes in to help him out, number 17 for the Tanners. Dante Moore, you can see him get a little frustrated. That one goes deep. Now we're gonna get a nice and call right there. Yeah. Yeah, he was probably gassed. He needed that whistle. 354 left here in the second period. It's been it's been all Masco. All Masco and uh, Mike Capone. He's had he's had two goals for, for the Tanners. Um, you know, uh, Dylan's probably seen about six shots, and two of them have gone in. So um, you know, they showed a little life here, but it, uh, it's been, these guys are just playing good hockey right now. They got a nice fan base here, too, Nick, huh? They do, they, they have like, a big fan base. You know, and, and, and uh, they, they got, um, they had a, a big announcement before the game with all the seniors. All right, there's a dump in. He got to the red line, dumped it in. There's a four check. We got one man high. No one took the body, and come out easy. That one goes all the way over to the far side, the number 19, Michael Berrigan. Berrigan shifts back, goes back to the point. Today, oh here, oh here it was part of, oh he had him, oh he had him on the back door. Oh here keeps it in. Berrigan's in the corner. He, Berrigan still has it. He's checked by, ah. Uh, uh, Look at that, look at this. Oh, intercepted. They, oh, they're trying to send him away. Fondulas can't get to it. What happened to Suarez? Where's Suarez tonight? I haven't seen him out there, Nick. Uh, he played one shift. Yeah, yeah, I know. I thought, I thought he, you know. Uh, here's a shot from the point, blocked. That was blocked, nice block. That shot came from, uh, from the point. It looked like um, Hartnett had that shot. Oh, here's a, here's a shot from the point. That was blocked in front. Pad, pad, right pad, saved by Souza. And he hangs on and gets a whistle. 2.16 left there in the second period. Man, oh man, oh man. Oh boy. Yeah, like I said, I hope you got your long johns on, right? <laughs> yeah, boy. And you know, this rink isn't that cold, though. No, it's not too bad. No. And you know, they don't, nice the music, they don't play the music in between the whistles. I kind of like that. But you know what? It's better off because we get the speaker right behind our head. Dante Morrow come out, up, intercepted. Back comes the Chieftains. Oh, nice right pad save by Ashton. Ashton ties it up. Wow. That was Maddie Rogers with a nice shot. Trying to find the far corner, but uh, Ashton sues up the senior captain, right? This senior captain. Yeah, he took the right pad away there and buried it. The uh, took the whistle. We get a face off. That one, Masco gets control right off the face off. Circling around is that looks like Joe Young. Joe, I like this kid, Young. Good little player. Oh, oh, he takes it outside. Oh, now we're looking like you know they're really playing hockey here, like they do in the pros. You know, nowadays. They circle back, and they're going to three on three on three at the bean pot the other night. Yeah. It was unbelievable having, you know, beaten, um, uh, who they play, BC in the, in the overtime. Did you watch that game? I, I did. Oh, it was sick. 1.5 seconds left. Harvin wins it. And now they're playing Northeastern for the first time ever. First you time ever. In, in bean pot history, I used to go every year. I loved going to the bean pot. Here's a nice save by Ashton Souza. Gets the whistle. Just over a minute left here in the second period. Back to the B part, though. What a game. Both games were unbelievable, Both man. Both games, unbelievable. Uh, great hockey. I, I, I'll take college hockey any day over to the pros. Man, oh, man, that place must have been electrifying.
the you garden. Know, at the garden. Oh, I used to go when it was the old garden. It was sick. You know, oh, I, the I Boston love it. garden. You know, they got the band playing and everything like that. You know, it's it's quite an event, really. If you've never been to a bean pot, you I've never go. been. You got to do it, man. You got to do it. I'll tell you, if I could, if I could take Monday night off, I would go to it um, Monday night because it's going to be a great, great game. Harvard's like tenth in the country right now. Wow. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, there, there he goes. Nice all the way. He's Rick blind. Down. Giuliano, oh, he finds his man. Oh, what a they save. couldn't bury it, though. Oh, it looked like Sousa might have got a piece of it. There's a save by Sousa. Wrapped around. Right on fourth sets. Right on. Ah! Back come the Tanners. Ryan Jones with it. He dumps it in deep. 18, 17, 16 seconds left. Oh! Wow, Polaris. He, oh! oh boy, he shit there. <laughs> I thought he could intercept that one, make a move on Dylan. They kept it in. Polaris down low. That's the end. That's it. The end of the second period. Are we doing a graph report? Uh, we are doing a graph report at the end of the second. Wow, so it's the end of the second. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Get your Boys snacks. And girls, we're get your do get your snacks ready. Get your drinks ready, and get ready for the graph report. Excellent. We'll be back. Holy smokes! John. Yeah, the scoreboard says seven to two, but it might be nine. Um, it's, it's, been a, it's been a rough go for the uh, Chandlers so far. The mask go here on senior night have been taking it to them. Oh yeah, it's their senior night. They got 11 seniors. Yeah, they've been a nice ceremony beforehand. And I'm gonna say, one of the best parts about this game was the national anthem. That girl sang one of the best renditions of the national anthem I've heard in a long time. Oh, uh, she did great. a great job. I had chills, I had chills, it was so nice. So, um, Puck Drop is about to start shortly, and we're gonna send you for a Puck Drop. Nick Raphael, Sean Murray. Thank you for watching Intermission Graph Report. Thank you, Nick. Take your Saugus TV experience beyond TV. Connect with us and stay up to date through social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Miss the televised meeting or event? Find it and watch it on our Vimeo page. And for everything else, visit our website, sagastv.org. Here they are, here they are, here they are. hey, thanks for coming. Man, oh man. <laughs> All right, here we go, we're back at the Valley Forum in Haverhill. Where the Tanners are getting smoked by Masco. Here we're at senior night. Sean Murray, Nick Graffio with you. Nice graph report, Nick. That went well, huh? Oh, yeah. We were trying to go around the music. Uh, you know what? That way we had Van Halen going strong. A lot of Van Halen, Sammy Hagar. Uh, was, uh, uh, I had a little uh, giddy up going on. You know, a like, rock and roll yeah, show baby. tonight. And let's, let's give a couple of shouts out to our buddy Jimmy Alcott, who, has, who couldn't be here tonight. You know, um, I, I want to say um, hello to the Duke out there. The Duke is one of our Papa biggest Duke. fans, you know. He loves it, and um, like I said, uh, Keith Manning, been uh, doing a great job at Saugus basketball. And uh, I know my friend, uh, Freddie Moore, uh, former Saugus High, doing Saugus Sachem doing well. He was a um, hockey player and a golfer. His daughter, Ashley Moore, playing some good basketball for the girls' basketball team. Oh, yes. 
See you tomorrow night. Yeah, that's right. I think you're here tomorrow night. They're going to be going to the tournament. Yeah. Right? They, they, I think, I believe they're going to, they're going to win the conference, right? Uh, they're going to, they're going to kind of have a hard schedule. Half hard, half easy schedule. Oh! oh. Wow. Wow. That one just, he smoked that one right in there, boy. Make no, make no mistake about that one. That hit the back of the net. Is about that, like, you could hear it from up here. Wow. Yeah, that was a nice goal. Yeah, that was uh, Matty Rogers. He was just standing wow. on the creases and just, just took a big hack at it. And um, That's probably 10. Man, oh, man. Poor Ashton Sue. I, I, I feel Master bad. Goal, number seven, Matty Rogers, assisted by number 43, Logan McKenna. Yeah, nice goal, Matty Rogers. Um, from, he's from Middleton. Yeah, like we said, uh, we were talking about it earlier, Nick. This is a regional school, so a lot of these kids, is there, you know, they're from Middleton, Chopsfield, uh, Boxford. You know, you got um, you know, three couple of different towns, but um, they usually they have a good program here. A couple they of years do. ago, they I believe they won the Northeastern Conference, and um, they did pretty good in the tournament as well. So these guys, if they keep playing like this, they'll they'll be in the tournament. This team, and they uh, they might make some noise. You know, um, they they're coached by uh, Andrew Bopelli, I I think his name is, and um, he's the head coach. And Don Roach and Matt Cadillo are the assistants, um, doing a nice job. I, I like I like the team. I, I like I like how they work the puck. They are just like that right there. Nice draw on the faceoff. You got to win faceoffs. Big part of the game. And they've been doing it all night. They've been winning faceoffs all night. Uh, intercepted. There's a shot right on. Susan makes a save. That one on by number 22. That's uh, Ben Merrill. A nice shot on net by Ben. He must he must have, he, oh, um, here comes, here comes Jonesy. Ryan Jones. Jonesy looking for, oh, in the middle, but intercepted. Oh, um, the Chieftains kept in. Jonesy gets it. Jonesy trying to find Fondoulis. Can't get it to him. Back come Nasco and slows down by the, by the water on the ice. That's Ben Merrill and um, Johnny Moraltz. Alan Wiseman said is this line. This line's been pretty good all night. Oh, nice shift. That one right on Souza. See, that's that right there, Nick. That's where you play the body. You gotta square up, you know, your man, and just look at his numbers, you know, right in his chest, and play the body on him. You can make a nice shift on him right there. But no one's playing the body for Saunders. It's been a problem all night. You know, these guys have been working the puck. Nice draw by Nasco. I, you know, that's, that's a go. Oh, nice tip as well. This kid, uh, number 23, um, Logan McKenna, wins the draw, goes to the net, has the sense to put his stick down with, the, with, with a nice shot from the point, and he, he tipped it over the net. That backhander, that one, that's for, uh, number 14 for, um, they don't even have him on the, on the, on the oh, yeah, that's, I'm sorry, that's Col Colin Dillon. Colin Dillon with a backhander on Ashton Souza. Souza making making a lot of saves. I mean, he's had a lot of rubber tonight, Nick. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, the score's very, uh, it, it's it's up to you. I mean, it's, they, they scored at least 10 goals on him, but you know, he's probably seen about 40 shots so far. Masco just doing all the right things. They're just tipping it away. Capone trying to get to it. Capone comes to the neutral zone. Takes it wide, drop past the Dante Morrow. Morrow with a shot. That went high and wide. Right over Dylan's uh, head, intercept the back, comes the Chieftains. That shot, nice block of save. That was Dylan, one of the Dylan boys with a wrist shot. Sousa got his blocker on it, put it up into the netting. We're gonna get a whistle to his left. 12 minutes left here in this contest. We're up here in Hayroll. Nick, this, you know, there's a couple of rinks in Havel you go to. Uh, the, I used to, when I was coaching at Tewksbury, you know, you played Havel and you played, you used to go to the, uh, the DNR rink up in, uh, up behind the school. Oh, you, you the know, one where we had the tournament last yes, year. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so I was thinking that's where we were going tonight, but 
No, nope, we're is at a, the this, Valley Forum. Yeah, this, this, is a new, uh, this is a new rink. You know, they got two rinks up here. And, um, you know, they, they, get, they got one stand, the stand's on one side, and they had a pretty good crowd here tonight. You know, uh, Masco brought their, brought their student body and the, and the parents out for senior night. And um, they had a uh, girls' or women's game before, two on one for Masco. Hello, takes the shot. That one went wide. That was Berrigan with a wrist shot. That one just went wide. No, here's Berrigan now. He's find, trying to find his partner in front. That's um, Duke, Gavin Dubious. Uh. Ah! That's Duke, Duke Dupree. Gavin Dupree with a goal. Nice shot right from the slot. Suze, come on, change your goalie up. Come on, will you? Put the other goalie in. Give the kid a break. Gotta, gotta put Tim in. They gotta put, they gotta put him in. Come on. Masco on the goal, number 16, Gavin Dupuy, assisted by number five, Max Conley. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be very critical of the coach of uh, Argentina's right now. There's no there's no reason why Ashton Souza should be in that net right now. No reason. That's, I'm just, that's, it, you gotta be kidding me. I mean, I, I realize the kid probably wants to be in there, but they're bombarding him from, from the get-go. From the get-go, they've been bombarding him. Take the kid out. Change your goal, you coach. God almighty. Well, we're gonna get a whistle here. 10 minutes left. Run the clock then and do something. Drop the puck, get it over with. Yeah, this has been all Masco, man, all night long. You know, there are, uh, these kids are still standing up on the bench too. You know, they're, they're really into it. And this is one of those nights where you want to get out the ice if you're Masco. You want to play because uh, you, you want to get some points. You want to chuck some points up. And I'll give this coach, this coach has been really good because he sat his first line out the whole period. I haven't seen the first line yet. That's, that's, that's a good coach right there. When you're getting bombarded, and they used to do that when I played for Chris Serino, I'd be out there, and if we, when we started bombarding classical, and we'd get up on classical, or we'd get up on Salem, and Christie would say, all right, you're done. You're all done. Me, Quinlan, Oxley, we'd, be, we'd sit on the bench. That would be it. And that's when Salem had a team back then. Yes, yeah, Salem has no team anymore, right? Yeah, it wasn't much of a team, I'll say that, but they showed up anyways. They, they, uh, they, they, were, they were in the cellar, most of the Northeastern Conference. But um, yeah, that was back in the days when they had, we had 10 teams, um, you played each team twice. You didn't have any long league games. It was English, Lynn Classical, Swarmskit, Marblehead, Gloucester. I mean, you know, Classical, yeah, it was just, it was unbelievable. Not the Eastern Conference, we were D1 back then. It was great. Uh, kept in Masco on the point. Anthony Carboni, he puts it wide. It's Carboni or Saboni, I'm not sure what they, how they pronounce it. He's, he's one of the defensemen. The tan is trying to come out. Right, Ryan can't get to it. Ah, they find a wing. Back comes the tan is. That was Higgins, Tyson Higgins trying to get to it. He, they took it right off of him. Here comes Young. Young got to try to shit by with one hand. Can't get it though. He's got his first line out oh, there Oh, that's now. a block. Nice block right there. That looked like, um, what was that? That was um, that was Higgins blocking that shot. Nice block. They, oh, nice oh, right pad save by nice Souza. Save. Good shot too. He went for the far side. Fondula is trying to find his wing. Can't get it to him. Young's going in one on two. It's still shifting. It's still in control. Trying to find his far man. Can't get it to him. Poked away by Polaris. Nice poke away. That's how to get it out of the zone. Masco winds it up. They'll throw it right in on Souza and they'll tie it up. I still think they should change the goalie. I, don't, I'm, I, I just don't yeah. understand them. 
I, how many games has he played? Has the other kid got in there in any games uh, at all? He's gone in, a couple, he's gone in a couple games. He has. I know the game you and I did up in Lowell, they put him in for that game when Drake was was killing him. And they they, they, they did the same thing yeah. uh, against um, Swamp Scott. Okay. When PBD TV covered for them. Okay. Yeah, I, I just think that, um, I mean, he's, you know, he's de definitely the better goalie. It's just that... You know, when this score gets like this. Oh, another one. Ah, Logan McKenna with a nice wrist shot to the far side. He must be a fan favorite, man, this kid. I love it. Place went wild for him, McKenna. Every, everyone's on the scoreboard for Masco tonight. Yeah, baby. Okay, that's enough. Put out your fourth line and keep them out there, coach. Please, do us a favor. Man, and, oh man. And do us a favor, change the goalie. Do us a favor and run the clock, too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Masking on the goal, number do 23, it. Logan McKenna, from number 14, Colin Dillon. Yeah, Dillon's got a, he's got a handful of points tonight, man. These kids are having fun, I'll tell you that. Boy, oh boy, Too much fun. fun. Too much fun. Yeah. yeah. That one intercepted. Taken away. Oh, that one just went wide. The tan is trying to come out. Dante Morrow whacking at it. They finally got it hot and dumped it out. That goes right back in the zone, hot it back for it. He can't control it. Right out front. Oh my goodness, what a save by Souza. Oh, that was wow. unbelievable. Oh my, another one. Man, oh man. He lost a stick. Matty Rogers from Masco. He, he, he thought he had another one because he's already had a couple, but uh, Souza took it away from him. Nice save by uh, Ashton. And he, I'm not saying, oh. I'm, I'm, I feel bad for Ashton. That's why I think they should change the goalie. It's not because he's playing bad or nothing. There's a shot on Dylan. He makes a save. Oh no, they changed it. Maybe no, he's still out there. Uh, yeah, Dylan's still. Yeah, he's out there. still out there. I thought maybe they might have changed their goalie. But um, but no, it, oh, it, I feel bad for Ashton right now. It's that's why. I mean, he's the better goalie. He's playing. Look, half half of the goals that are, I'd say three quarters of the goals he's, that he's he had no chance on him. But hot, but this the Masco team's playing a good game they, they they move the puck they find the open man um, that's we're gonna get an ice and we'll get the ice is really um, really nice and clean down there right in front of Dylan there's barely any skate marks in front because they haven't had the puck in that zone at all oh, I'm gonna tell you the the ice is tilted this it's very way tilted that is very tilted yep Ah, uh, whoa, we got a face off. Mike Ryan, it looked like he got control. Trying to get it back to his, his wing, um, Higgins, but can't get to it. Ah, uh, nice move. Oh, he fall. He, he had his man break it to the net. That was Ben Merrill. He was looking for his partner on the side, break it to the net, number 21, Johnny Merrill. Susan just got his pad out to save that, take it away. Oh, yeah. And um, like we were talking about earlier, we had a, a girls game play before. That's right. Uh, I was thinking Gloucester and Masco. Yeah, yeah. Who who won that game? Then? Masco. Yep. So they had the fans here for the girls game, and then they got, then the boys game come out. So they must have seen the night for the for girls. the girls as well. Nice right pad by Aston Souza. Kicked it right out. Kicked it right out of the zone. Nice pass to his wing. Finds his wing. That was Giuliano. Oh! Giuliano. Giuliano's played a nice game for him. Good defenseman for Ramasco. I wonder if you heard that. That that went off the wall. Yeah, it went through the netting and hit the uh, sidewall. Yeah. Loud. Well, we'll get a, we got another whistle. I was just hoping the refs would put that whistle right in their pocket so this clock runs and this game gets over with. It goes Polaris, but he forgot the puck. There he goes. There he comes. There's Mondulis trying to get a shot off, but it's blocked. Masco takes control. 
Oh, get intercepted by Polaris. He's going to be oh, in. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's your oh, fault. Yeah, <laughs> Fort oh, oh, Doolis. Fort About time. Yeah. Polaris, nice play. Picked that off and uh, found his man, break it to the net. Fondulis, he had to stick down. He had the mindset going right to the net. I like uh, how he positioned himself. His stick was down, head up, bang, and he puts it home. Oh, what a goal by Alex Fondulis. Fondu, we love you. <laughs> 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 Oh boy, we got some Easy life, we got some school, life. Number 21, Alex Fondulis, assisted by number 15, Nathan Paheres. Yeah, we the, had a little life here with five minutes left in the game. The big here, man. Here, oh, we're gonna get a penalty on Nasco. Oh, here the he goes. The gonna go on the power play. Oops. Polaris, ah, nice try, good effort. Yeah, we got, um, yeah, we, we, we got uh, number 14, uh, Colin, Colin Dillon, for an elbow. That was a tough call. I don't know about that one, but we'll take it. Uh. Basket on the penalty, number 14, Colin Dillon, two minutes for elbow. All right, here we go on the power play. This is the second one of the night, Nick, right? They had a 5 one, three, right? Oh, yes, they did. They're, but the other team scored. Short-handed. Short-handed. Oh, nice shot there by Dante Morrow. Playing the point on this power play. So we got Dante Morrow on D with uh, Zach Hartnett, one of the freshmen from Peabody. Uh, and then we got, uh, looks like Jonesy, Mike Ryan, and um, Capone. Maybe Capone can get himself a hat trick here. Hopefully. Right? He's Hopefully. got two already. He's looking for that, three. That's not the pass to make. I don't get it. You know what I mean? That, you you got to be in control of the puck. Susan trying to find, just trying to lay it softly for his defenseman. Here he comes. Ah, that didn't work. Oh. Hot it. But that one right on Sousa, that kind of surprised him. Here we go. He's winding up now. Oh, here goes Dante. Dante. Dante brings it into the, into the zone on the power play, looking for his puck. Oh, nice pass over to Ryan. Ryan with the shot right on Dylan, makes a save. That's how you move the puck. Get it to your points, set up your power play, and move it around. I like the shot from Ryan. You gotta get in front of the goalie, though. You wanna screen the goalie, get in front of him. Try to take that, take it away from him here. Let's see if we can get another goal here. Oh, Saugus wins a draw. Dante Morrow keeps it in. Trying to find, that looks Josie got it behind the net. Leaves it for Capone, Capone's shot. That goes wide. Mike Ryan in on it, leaves it for Dante Morrow. Dante's looking, looking, looking. Oh, whoa, oh. my, oh my, me, oh my. No good. Man, oh man, okay, here goes Jonesy winds up. Let's regroup. Over to Capone. Capone with it. You know, you gotta look for the, the, the guy. You can't just throw it out there and think he's there. You gotta look and find the stick. You gotta put it tape to tape. Capone has it. Try, try to find Jones in front. Ah, nice try to keep it in, but Masco clears it down. Susie has it. Oh, leaves it. Oh, that, that didn't work. And that's going to... Pinto back on it. And that's yep. going to do it for the Masco penalty. Oh, man. Yep. They're dumping it back in deep. Yeah, that power play, they didn't get much on it. Mike Ryan probably got one shot. I think that was it. Dante had the right idea going back to the points. But, you know, he didn't get it on his stick. 
Ah, wow, Josie was looking to go. Oh, yeah. There he goes, he sends him away. There goes Dante Morrow trying to find his backhander on the net. He's got his point wide open. Dante, oh, nice pass to Mike Ryan. Ryan's shot. That's saved in front. Oh! oh Dylan knocked it down. Capone has uh, Dante has it. Dante Morrow, nice shot. Right on, Dylan makes a save. Oh, Dylan reacted to that. 2-10 left here. Dylan reacted to that one on that. Yeah. Yeah, they, he's seen all of it, though. You know what I mean? He came right out. Had plenty of room to see it. You know, buried it right in his chest. Um, but, you know, that, that wasn't a bad shift. But um, a little too late, right, Nick? Yeah, a little too late. Masco trying to find it. Polaris just got himself an assist. That was intercepted. Higgins trying to find his foul wing, intercepted by Masco. Oh, wow, and right in front, Dylan again trying to find his wing. Back comes the Tanners. Polaris gets it, he'll dump it, the net tag up. Just over a minute left here in this contest. Been all Masco tonight, Nick, all Masco. Yeah. That one right out front, couldn't find his man. Oh. oh. No, Polaris thought he was going to get a tripping call, but they didn't, the ref didn't call it. Thank goodness he didn't call it. I don't even think it was a trip. I think the kid just lost his edge, fell over. Okay, Brady Ford winding it up, the last shift of his night. The last shift on senior night for Brady One Ford. One minute left to the game. He'll take control. They got all the seniors out there now. Colin Dillon. Yep, they got uh, Evan O'Hare's out there as well. Oops. Ah, there we go. Here we go. Number. Yep. Oh, we had a, we had a chance there. Josh Lewis got it taken away though. There's a shot. That one went wide. Oh, here. That was a nice. He's been. Had a, he's had a big game for him. Oh. oh. Right out in front. Oh my, Dylan with another opportunity. Souza made a nice save on Dylan. Man, this Dylan kid. Oh, it, man, it's at the Ford. They've been all over him. Young Souza, another save. He's had to see 50 shots tonight. He has to see. Polly. More? Polly had to save. 10 seconds left. It's like 60 to 70 shots. 60 to 70, you think? Yeah. Somewhere around yeah, there. Yeah, he's going to sleep good tonight, I'll tell you that. Man, that's been a rough night for him. And I don't, you know, any goalie just sees that much rubber. I, you know, I, I, me, myself, I, I, I've been around the game for a long time. That you change your goaltender. I don't care, you know, what. Oh! I don't care what it is. You change your goaltender. Give the other guy a chance. Put him in there when the score's that bad, you know. I mean, you know, you're looking to get your other goalie, to, you know, get, give him some playing time as well, you know, the game's out of reach. But, you know, three seconds left here. And this one's gonna do it. Yeah, that's all, that's a wrap here. Final score, Maskinomic 11, Pibisagas 3. You know, Nick, I'll tell you, you know, the three goals they scored, you know, Capone got two. Um, and then um, Seth Fondula's Alex Fondula's got the other one. Um, but, you know, they probably only had about 11 shots on net, I'd say maybe 12. And, uh, you know, the senior night here for Masco, they had themselves some fun. They really did all night long. And, and you know, this game ended at, at 11 or 2. Um, it, you know, they, they right from the start, you know, Sargis was standing around. And you, you almost get, you almost get caught watching the game when it gets that out of reach. And you, when you, when you, when you're playing a team that that's that much better than you, or or they're just playing better, you know, you you uh, you lose you lose that enthusiasm, enthusiasm, you know, and, and uh, you start watching the game instead of playing it. A couple things. Yes, yeah, and the final score today, we got Masco 11. PBD Saugus 3. Now I'll wrap it up from the Valley Forum here in Haverhill.
Nick Raphael, Sean Murray, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow night for girls basketball. Stay tuned for that. Live. Thank you, Have Anthony Michelle on the camera. Thanks, Anthony. Thank we'll you, see Anthony. you again, guys. Thanks, Nick. What a great game. Have bud. fun. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.